Why do we use other strategies with children who are young or children who have a disability or they have special needs like um, children with autism? Because the way they communicate, the way they perceive the world around them is different. And they cannot always verbally express, Neither, nor do they have the attention or the interest. Why would they want to keep dwelling on something that was pretty traumatic and scary to them? They want to avoid it. They're not going to come and sit and talk with you. But if, I mean, there are several things you can do. We, we have to learn to actually modify all the effective treatments, trauma treatments that we have to these kids with special needs. What are some ways we can modify them? For instance, one is through establishing routine and structure. Because they deal with anxiety, they respond to routine. So you have a routine at the beginning of the session, you end the session a certain way, you have rituals, and you have it at a certain time, um, you have a schedule for this session. So they kind of, every time there's one thing about this session that stays the same. You make the session shorter, you limit the uh, language that you use um, and uh, you use a lot of visuals, a lot of aids. Um, for a lot of kids, you can use play, you can use figures, you can, um, with art, you can use paint uh, and paper. So they're busy moving with sand as they're telling you, their hands is in the sand, they're, self, they're engaged in a self-soothing behavior if you're using the right sand. And then they can tell, they can, even if they can't tell, they can show you. So you cannot rely on um, just their ability to verbalize and tell you the story. They can first show you. Then what you can do is that you can help them put words to it. And then you can re-expose them to that story over and over so the anxiety comes down. And later on after you have, I mean, we haven't talked about the therapies per se, but later on you can also help them kind of deal with the triggers that brings on the uh, trauma back.